Large re-anchors can be offset by any distance. While we need to avoid the bottom of the loop during the transfer, we also need to avoid climbing too high in the transfer and creating an internal angle greater than 90 degrees. In a large re-anchor, something to remember, always maintain four points of connection during the transfer. Also, the ropes leading to the ground may not be used for the transfer. Ascend access ropes until just below the anchor. Next, we are going to transfer into the near side of the loop with the second backup device and ID. Make sure that we are clear of the access ropes. Pull the ropes from the far side of the loop to remove the slack to the far anchor. Install the backup and ascenders and pull some rope through the crawl to function check the new system. We begin to lower ourselves out from the near side of the loop and ascend to the far side of the loop, maintaining backup devices in both directions. Once the transfer is complete, our next move is to transfer to the exit ropes, if available on that side. Otherwise, change over to descent and reverse our path back through the re-anchor loop. Finally, we transfer onto the exit ropes using our ID and ASAP. then descend.